Google, Facebook, Bing, who uses Bing, TikTok. Name any social media or large app company in general. And what do you find? Everyone's speculation about them using your data. But when it comes to the productivity app space, I've noticed people recently putting a lot of stock into the fact that certain apps aren't free. For example, my most popular video has a mix of comments. About this one, Mark says, I've had this connection for a while and it's priceless. I don't even think about where to add things anymore. It just does it. That's someone who likes the price of the product and is happy with it. This person likes it and thinks it's great. And then other people say, kind of knowing you made us watch for six minutes to tell us it's paid. Um, a multi-billion dollar company does not give you a Google Calendar integration, but you complain when someone asks you to pay for it. Here's my thing. I respect that opinion, but I would like to offer you a different opinion because a lot of people talk about it, it's expense, and a lot of people apologize for the aggressive tone when I usually hit them with like a nice, like, hey, I totally get it, it costs money, I don't, I mean, nobody likes paying for money for apps. But I know that it's hard to believe, but when small companies can't afford to keep things afloat with a free or a freemium option, they will sell your data, they just will. But when a company has a premium structure, actually similar to this automation that I've talked about, notationautomations.com. I've had personal conversations with the owner, Simo, and guess what? I know for a fact Simo's not gonna sell your data because he actually is just not gonna change his pricing model from it being paid because he doesn't wanna do that. He, he ends up copy pastaing people about like, here's why I'm not gonna make it free. Because companies that are small always resort to this. They do it, or not always, but they do it behind closed doors more often than we believe. Free is not free. I hate to burst the bubble for you, but I work in digital marketing and I am a paid search manager at a large agency. And in my prior job, and in the current one, like I have used customer lists. So customer list data is something that comes from people converting, on various different website entities, whether it be from our own data or third-party data. And that third-party data can be sold around behind closed doors. People always question things like, is my data being used? Yeah, it's being used for marketing purposes. Yeah, it's being used to remarket to you if you've already bought something. And yes, it could be sold to other companies. It's a black box. You accept those terms and conditions for a lot of those free apps. And this is what happens. My question is this, from a morality standpoint, would you rather your data be used or would you rather for money that you're never going to get unless like certain politicians have, have claimed that they want to prevent that and they want to like put a tax on that selling of transactional data, which is often untaxed and never gets back to the consumer or would you rather just have to pay for it up front? It's up to you. I'm just giving you information that apps like Notion Automations is never going to sell your data. So like don't be upset because it's, it's not the fact that they're not making it free because they don't want to give that the option. It's so that they never have to shut down the application, one, because a lot of free apps end up dying, and then you have all this sunk cost. You have a ridiculous amount of sunk cost on things that die. Like, remember Friday? I made a video on that like a month and a half before it ended up closing, and then when I made the video drop two days before it ended up dying, people were like, uh, this website's going away in two days. Did you notice? And I'm like, no, I made this video nearly two months ago. And I'm not saying Friday is a perfect example, but it is an example of one as I actually think the pricing structure on Friday was fine. Pretty sure it was a premium product, but more free apps go out of business <laughs> than you would care to like to see. I don't like seeing it, but I also don't like seeing people use your data. I don't like working in parts of the digital marketing sphere with the third party data because I sometimes like customer lists I've seen be acquired by companies is like, where did you get this? This wasn't yours. I know the user base isn't getting a kickback from having their information sold, sold around. So it's like, it's not just about the app being free or not. Everything on the internet could be free, but the way that people sell data nowadays, it really isn't ever free. If you wanna go watch the Netflix documentary, The Social Dilemma, I would really check it out because it's a bit eye-opening as to the way that they use our data on a social media perspective and it probably can be seen then on how all small companies might do the same thing because people are people regardless of what size company they work at. If they need the money to stay afloat, they will use your data. Not all of them, but it has been done. If you want to find some productivity apps that could be free, could not be free, check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.